Hello party people, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori, thank you so much for being here today. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the mood board I made for my spring and summer vibe. I've made a few of these videos and essentially what I do is I'm showing you this collage I've made of stuff that is, is kind of like the theme of the upcoming season. Obviously we are well into spring. It's literally the end of April. So this is more of like a late spring, summer vibe. I really enjoy making these kinds of mood boards. I feel like the activity of making one really just forces me to sit down and look and find images that inspire me and color palettes and just overall feelings and vibes that I really wanna channel for the upcoming season. I really like this exercise as well because I feel like it also helps me kind of filter in and out the trends that I'm seeing online or seeing in person and seeing whether or not they align with the vibe I'm kind of going for. Similarly, I feel like this mood board isn't meant to like force me into a certain aesthetic or into a certain vibe. It's mostly just to show myself like, this is what's on your mind. This is what's happening this year. So I hope this inspires you to make your own. So let's get into it. I do make my collages digitally on an iPad. I use Procreate and I usually find a lot of these images on Tumblr and Pinterest. This is my like bi-annual reminder to add yourself onto these mood boards that you create because when you envision this new vibe, this new life for yourself, you should always have a piece of you in there. I'm also someone who likes to have this mood board very accessible to me, so I have it also as my phone background. Here it is in all its glory. Obviously, you can tell from just initially looking at it that I'm really into warm tones, golden tones, for the spring and summertime. Overall, a lot of the background images on this are inspired by plans I have for the summer. Um, I'm planning on going to Italy this summer, so I just have a few shots of Italy. I also have a photo from the Met in New York because I'm going to New York in a couple of weeks. So if we move from left to right, starting at the top, you can see there are three figures in the left-hand side, and those are images of Zoe Kravitz, myself, and Paloma El Sasser. I feel like these three images really evoke the kind of outfits I'm gonna be channeling this year. When I look at Zoe Kravitz, one thing I love about her is the way that she kind of gives off this like quote unquote effortless style. And I think one reason why people really love her style and consider it to be effortless is because she re-wears things all the time. And she also dresses herself in a way that I think really balances out vintage and newer pieces, but also like stereotypical feminine and stereotypical masculine pieces. So like if you look at what she's wearing, she's wearing loafers, which have been super popular in recent years and also one of my personal staples in my shoe rotation. And I just wanna find ways to kind of rewear those more simple pieces in my wardrobe. So she's kind of reminding me of that. She's also reminding me that I can mix more masculine and feminine pieces. I have this photo of myself on here because I love myself, but also I really love this skirt. I feel like this is one of those summer staples that I was looking for secondhand. And since I couldn't find it secondhand, I bought one retail. I just wanna wear this skirt to death. So that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. And I love that photo of me. I think it looks so cute. And then to the right, I also have model Paloma El Sasser. She's another person who I think has incredible personal style. And I recently went to a Meow sample sale and I ended up buying a lot of pieces from her collab with Meow. So she's kind of on here to remind me to actually wear those pieces that I bought. I love her. I love like her interviews. I love the way she carries herself. I feel like having her on my mood board is just to remind me to carry myself like a bad bitch. Carry myself the way Paloma El Sester and Zoe Kravitz carry themselves. You know, it's like a lot of confidence and they know they're cool. And I want to be a cool girl. So I am a cool girl. So they're, that's why they're on the mood board. As we move towards the right, you'll see that I have this photo of someone that has a really beautiful charm necklace layering thing going on. And I don't know, I really am gravitating towards the charm necklaces and the charm bracelet vibe. I think I was really on this a couple years ago in 2020 and I feel like it's kind of been reinvigorated in me this year. I feel like because I'll be traveling a lot, I do want to collect more fun like costume jewelry and more fun charms. So this is kind of like my reminder of that. I also really like this because it also, this stack also kind of reminds me of like the Jane Birkin trend that's going on right now with like embellishing your bag with jewelry and with really fun pieces. So this is also kind of reminding me like, hey, don't forget to accessorize on your accessories. So that's why that's there. We keep moving, just a beautiful photo of a photo booth over in, I believe, Florence. And then in the right-hand corner, I have 
this like Byzantine inspired Chanel necklace and this Cartier watch in the corner. I really love the like Catholic imagery and I feel like I'm just gonna steal a necklace that my mom has that looks very similar to this for like a really fun layering moment. I don't know. I feel like maybe when we are traveling in Europe, it'll be like the perfect vibe, but who knows? Maybe for like a birthday or something, we'll see. And then I also have this watch on here because this whole year, honestly, I think it's been over a year now, I've really been looking for a really nice um, gold watch. I found one that's a bit more like 80s vintage inspired, like a little more like techy, like Casio inspired, but I really want to find one that's kind of like this gold plated, like similar, similarly to this Cartier style, but you know, probably not Cartier because I don't think I can afford Cartier. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the top row. I feel like that's kind of showing you where like my fashion and my accessory inspiration is. And then as we move down, we're kind of going a little bit outside of like this golden color palette. I recently bought these like shiny shimmery jeans from Gap. So I have this photo on here, which is very similar, but not exact to the pants I have. And that's just to remind me to find very fun ways to style these pants. They're the fun statement pant of the season. And they're definitely one of the like more trendy pieces that I've bought this year. And then to the right of that, I just have this really fun image of this person like licking a cherry that looks like a disco ball. It honestly just really reminds me of my little tattoo here. Sometimes on my mood boards, I'll just have pieces on there that maybe are similar to the color palette I want or kind of similar to the vibe I want to evoke. And this one I feel is just very like color palette centric. Those are those images. And then as we move on down, we'll see a photo of myself drinking in a nice dirty martini. I don't know, I just have this photo of myself on here because I feel like this photo is a vibe. Like you can't really argue with me. And honestly, it's more of like a cheers to seeing more friends, indulging in a little cocktail and a nice little dinner. Like living is the vibe of the summer for sure. Next to myself, I have this photo of Camila Marone and Suki Waterhouse um, and they just look hot. And honestly, these two might be also a couple more like fashion inspirations for me. I really did not enjoy the Daisy Jones and the Six adaptation. Like I just found it to be super boring and it really made me reflect and think like, was the book a boring experience? Like, I don't know. I found the like content to be so like, a little too glossy, a little too heavy handed. And I was like, maybe I'm not the target demographic for this. Maybe it's definitely for someone much younger, but I enjoyed their roles in it. I thought they acted it perfectly. I thought they fit in with the vibe of the book and of the characters, but I loved their characters in that show. I love their character style, but I also really love their own personal style or like their style here in the real world. I find them to be very interesting. And I also really love Suki Waterhouse's music. I've talked about Suki Waterhouse's music on here like quite a bit and I'm a stan. I stan the sad Suki Waterhouse. And then right next to them is Miss Matilda Jerf. Again, I feel like I really love this image of her. She looks like she's having the time of her life. She is just vibing and living and drinking a really cute cocktail. And then she also has this really fun rosette on around her neck, which I think is really fun. I'm really into like the way she mixes super feminine statement piece, like the masculine oversized blazer. I also really like these photos of Suki, Camilla and Matilda just because it was taken on a digital camera. And I'm like, the digital camera vibe is honestly very slay, very fun. So I'm really into that. And then if you see right behind Matilda, it's like a photo of the new puppy that my parents adopted into our family. And he's just chilling, surrounded by my books on my bed. And again, it's reminding me to get out of this major reading slump I'm in. I want to be re-inspired by books. I still have my major book stack going on. So I need to start working my way through it. But yeah, that's kind of an overview of my mood board for the summer. I feel like this mood board is not overwhelming, which is something I really like because I feel like it gives me a chance to be inspired by other things that I didn't know would or could inspire me. But I feel like it's enough where I, I kind of know what I will and won't be embracing this summer. Like for example, I feel like everyone is talking about the Sandy Liang and Salmon, Salomon shoe collab, which I talked about this style of shoe recently. Those kinds of shoes don't really align with like the vibe that I'm going with this year. And I also just don't find them to be in my personal taste. But I think creating this mood board really solidified the like girly girl, you do not need 
to purchase another pair of sneakers, you're totally fine on the sneaker front. And then when I also look at this, I feel like when it comes to shopping this year, I think I might be more inclined for like jewelry as opposed to clothing. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed looking through my mood board. In the past, after I would make a mood board, I would kind of make like a catalog of all the items that I have that fit this criteria or fit this mood. But honestly, that element of creating a mood board really just became more taxing and more of a chore for me. So I've decided not to do that. I think if anything, I might just create a lookbook. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But yeah, I don't want to make mood boarding or like vision boarding to feel like a chore for myself because if finding inspiration feels like a chore then like we've hit a wall do you know what i mean so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching if you want to see more of me feel free to follow me on instagram or on tiktok and if you want to know what i'm reading feel free to follow me on storygraph i think that's it for personal promo i'll see you for the next one bye